Hello and welcome to Grand Designs Australia. Here today we have a birdhouse renovation. Margaret and Jeff are the proprietors of the property and they have decided to turn this and convert this birdhouse into something stunning, something unique that will fit into the surroundings. It will match into the, to the country lifestyle um, but with all the mod cons. Let's go and see how this turns out, shall we? Margaret, just standing here with a hammer. Now, Margaret, what, what are you doing here? Doing some re-roofing, are we? You can see here that uh, it was a wood property. Um, it's now being, the roofing, the wood roofing has now been replaced with metal cladding. As you can see, it's gonna add so much more support and structure to the property. See here is as Jeff just uh, puts his these final bolts in. Might just need Margaret to come around and hold it there. Wait a minute, will you hold that woman? <laughs> as you can see here, Margaret and Jeff, the strain of this renovation is certainly showing. It's putting much strain on their marriage. They've put everything into this renovation. All of their life savings have gone into it. Uh. Margaret, uh, what sort of budget have you got for this property? Started off at twenty thousand. <laughs> right. Dollars. We're there for the contingencies, but it's twenty. It's ten percent over now. We had to redo, the, over we had to redo the bathroom in the kitchen, and the tenants before did trash bad. So there were some I bird tenants living yeah, in this birdhouse so it previously. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. As you said there, Margaret, that the tenants did oh, uh, terrible, certainly trash it, didn't they? Mess. They left look a huge this. mess. Let's just have a look at. Uh, hold on a moment. We'll go around and have a look at what this. Uh, the damage was. This is how they left it. That's what they left this is inside. What they left in the house. I mean, cleaning, cleaning costs have been, oh, cleaning costs have been huge, have they? I've been cleaning all day, painting. I mean, it's yes. just not fun. Mm. And I heard that they actually lit fires inside the property as mm. well, and uh, mm. even graffitied the walls. Is that mm. correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah, mm. All sorts. We so have, it's we didn't that know it added to the cleanup cost three also. Three days we couldn't sleep because of the smoke, and we didn't know where it's coming from. Really? We realised, yeah. Mm. Bloody disgusting. I'd be more happy mm. who goes in it next time. As you can see folks, from what Margaret and Jeff were just telling me, this is, they're in for the long haul. This is going to be a long renovation and it's going to take a lot of time and resources. It is putting strain on their marriage um, and I think that they have yeah, perhaps dog. taken on a bit, as you can see there, I think they've taken on a bit more they can chew with this renovation project. Yeah, they're out an hour for this renovation, but it's going to run in there three or four days. <laughs> three or four days. Is that right, Jeff? Here. I don't know what and what sort of brand is that? Wattle. 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 It's very good. Wood care, deck we're and not, timber. We're not cutting corners on this renovation. This mm -hmm. is for Europe. Yeah. And we, oh, we did. We, we actually had to fly to Sweden to get this paint. You had to fly to Sweden, oh, yes. so it's it did cost you airfares. But Both you time, and Jeff travelled over there, what, first class, luxury? Yes. Mm. It all out. added to the project, it I imagine. beautifully stained when it's done. Absolutely mm -hmm. inviting. We'll blend in with all the other trees in the garden. Beautiful it will be. Um, Beautiful? Yes. Well, it's, can't wait, to, can't wait to see corners. the finished product. We're not cutting corners with this. To aid Margaret and Jeff in the mammoth workload effort of this project, they have employed an, a builder to assist with, uh, w with, with certain things. Um, let's see and have a, the builder is Jessie. Let's cut to Jessie and see how uh, she's progressing. Jessie, Brett from uh, Grand Designs, how are you? Looks like she's uh, busy at the moment. I think she's uh, calculating some plans in her head. Um, maybe doing a few drawings. Um, she certainly looks apart there. I'll leave you to it, Jessie, and um, let you get on with the project. Jessie's brought in a, uh, a labourer uh, by the name of Bundy. Um, Bundy's a bit shy on the camera. He's not going to speak to us folks, but uh, it, as you can see, he's just sorry. He's, he doesn't like the camera. But uh, Bundy will be assisting with the project. So Jessie's just been checking the plans here. Um, as you can see, she has uh, the architect has drawn up some plans. The builder, being Jessie's, just um, having a little look over these. Who looks right? Does it, Jessie? Yeah. Very good. Well, it looks like you were hard at work there. So um, once again, we'll leave you to it. Jeff's now working on the cleaning process, preparing it uh, ready for wood staining. So it's just as you can see, he got a wire brush and he's clearing out some of those uh, bits of you know 
loose bits of wood and um, sanding it back nicely so it's all smooth for uh, staining. You're not happy about those tenants, are you, Jeff? I'm not happy. No. It'll be very more selective in the future. Uh huh. You think you'd do things differently next time, Jeff? I'll we'll certainly put a different class of bird in there next time. Now we're ready for the transportation um, of the birdhouse. It's going to its new home where it will be located, planted in the ground. And uh, it's, it's a heavy job. We've got, uh, yeah, both Margaret and Jeff are involved in this lifting process. There we go, it was a bit of a hiccup there. They went the wrong way, coming around past the cars. It's quite a dangerous move, this one. What's happened? The long bolts could have gone to I didn't realise, I thought they were both the same size. It's a big pickup. So as a builder, Jesse, what's happened here with the, uh, you did work to plan, didn't you? But you seem to be out with the bolts there. Jesse? Mm. She doesn't want to talk right now. Um, as you can see, the builder's not too happy about things herself. Problems have arisen on site. The labourer Bundy has spent more time licking his balls than what he has actually doing labouring duties. This has caused considerable delay to the project. And with the builder taking time out to rest, not much work is actually getting done. This has left more work to Margaret to have to, to, to fulfil. She's taken up the tools and she's thrown herself into this project. Jeff's now applying the uh, wood stain onto the birdhouse. As you can see, he's chosen a very, very rich colour, something to match in with the earth and with the local surroundings. And I think it carries it off quite well. Problems have arisen on site. The weather is beginning to turn. The clouds are rolling in. And Jeff is working oh. Jeff's Jeff is working hard to complete the work on time. I've got to tell you, Jeff, I really like what you've done with the woodwork around the windows. It's got a very modern feel, but also very practical. In that it protects the bird from the rain and full sunlight. So that you've got eaves overhanging the windows. And down below, you've got just enough room for some pops to be put on there. So that uh, to live in the property, you could have a nice little window balcony garden there on, on, on the window's ledge. We spent so much on this build, though, I don't know if we can afford much for finishings. You don't think you can afford much uh, because you spent so much? I think, because right. all the money's gone. All the money's gone. Yeah, the, the budget's been... Blown out. Blown out already. Completely. You've got nothing left. Nothing left. Mm. So, and you, you've you've spent your life savings on this work, have you not, Jeff? I've put it all into your superannuation. It's gone. gone. Yeah. Everything. Oh yeah. It's all gone into this. Margaret and Jeff were forced to lay off their builder, as well as the labourer that the builder hired. Work was not being done. Margaret and Jeff have now decided to carry on with the project themselves. And as you can see, I think they've done a good job. See, there's a porch on the property that faces a northerly aspect to cater for the, uh, for the vast views on offer. Um, I think it would be a lovely place to sit out on this particular balcony and on a nice warm sunny day with a drink in hand and it would be just a beautiful place to sit and just watch the world go by. A chimney has been installed to, for those very bitter winters. Solar panels power the property's large electricity consumption. There is a large rainwater tank alongside the property and all of the household's water will run off of this tank. Nine months on and the property is complete. As you can see, it's come up a real treat. The project 
was pushed out quite late. It ran a lot longer than what it, it should have and what was planned to have happened. Margaret and Jeff have spent a lot, a lot of money on this property. All of their superannuation, all of their savings, it's all gone into this. And it was such a risk and it could have gone wrong, but I think they've accomplished something really quite unique. It fits into the surrounding area. It fits into the country theme. As you can see with the wood stain, it, it, it just looks natural. I think it is aesthetically pleasing as well as it has attained a five star energy green rating. I think they could be very proud of what they've achieved here. And Are you happy with what you've achieved here? Very happy. After all of that effort, all of that time, and all of the, the finances have gone into it. Hell of a lot of effort, hell of a lot of finance. I've I wondered if it's worth it halfway through the build, but uh, I've got once to it's finished, I find it quite satisfied. Excellent. I've got to say, Jeff, that uh, I had doubts. I had a lot of doubts. Um, and when, when, I, when I began, uh, when you began the project and I first arrived here, I thought, what are you taking on? Now I've seen a finished product. It's fantastic. You really have achieved something great here. So, 10 months later, and a tenant has already moved into the property. As you can see, he's very happy with his living conditions. So, another project has come to an end. Join me next time when we do a pigeon cage renovation. For now, I'm Brett McLeod from Grand Designs Australia and thank you for viewing.